Dude, what if there was a way to be invisible and still get kills? That'd be totally wicked, right? Wait, there actually is a way to do that. What's up guys, my name is Stray, and today I'll be bringing you guys two one-way smokes for every map in the competitive map pool. With these smokes added to your arsenal, you'll be getting kills left and right without even giving your opponents a chance to fire back. Let's get into it. Let's start off with good old Dust 2, and for Dust, there's quite a lot of great one-way, so it's actually quite difficult to find the most useful ones, but here's our top two. Alright, so first of all, we have a one-way smoke that the professional team Big uses a lot in their executes. It isn't often that professional teams and players abuse one-way smokes because a lot of the time they only work once and are very difficult to find. Basically, taking all that time to use a smoke once to cheese a single kill isn't really worth the time they spend finding it. This smoke is an exception though, because this little smoke is a smoke that even Big throws multiple times in a single game and a smoke that a lot of teams have added to their short take ever since. So aside from the fact that you're probably not playing at a top level, so you'll be free to use all your one-way smokes at least once or twice a game. This one-way smoke you can basically throw any round you want to take the A site from short with your team, and it simply cannot be countered. Since this smoke is a part of an execute, you'll first need a friendly teammate to smoke the close short corner as shown here, which is quite an easy lineup and most people will be able to throw the smoke. If not, then we'd advise playing with a friend that can. And then you can line up the following smoke to give you the one-way. This smoke is a lot more difficult to throw, but once you get it down, it's actually pretty easy. The key to throwing it consistently is lining up with your view model instead of your crosshair. As you can see from this clip, if you look closely at the top pin of your smoke grenade, you can basically put it over the lighter spot in between the two darker spots, at least with default view models, which you can set by typing view model underscore preset POS3 into the console. If you are using other view models, you might need to find a slightly different way to line it up, so we'd advise trying it in empty server beforehand. Once you're able to throw the smoke through clearing people on the A site, it's going to be a breeze because the one-way smoke covers most of the site itself and even makes it a lot more difficult for people on car and long to spot you. Before we move on to our next smoke though, first we have our question of the day. Today's question being, do you personally use one-way smokes often? For me, I used to definitely ignore them quite a bit, but once I started learning more and more of them, I clearly noticed how effective they can be and I've been using them ever since. What about you though? Are you here to first learn about them or are you just trying to add more to your tool belt? Whatever it is, make sure to let me know in the comments down below. The next one way smoke is great for trying to take the B bomb site alone and it's actually a smoke that I use a lot. You throw it by standing behind the pillar and lining your crosshair up with one of the bigger brown smudges on the wall inside the tunnels as shown here. Afterwards, you're free to lurk out and you'll be able to get one way vision towards the double doors, window, and the general site area and even platform by moving into it further and further. It really allows you to see most of the V-Site and is thus an amazing way to catch your opponents off guard at least once a game. It does have one major downfall though, and that's the fact that if someone plays on the top of the boxes on the right side once you leave the tunnel, it'll be fairly difficult to clear and you might die because of it. But as long as you keep that in mind, you should definitely be good to go. The next smoke is for all the pit players on Inferno and it's a great way to catch players trying to push in from short. When I'm playing inside of the big pit in Inferno, I a lot of the time find myself crouching in the corner to catch people off guard trying to walk out of apartments. This is difficult to do especially if my short player dies early. So if that happens and I expect my opponents are up short, I can counter it by throwing the simple smoke. All you have to do is line your crosshair up slightly above the little plank and over the barrel and your smoke will grant you a nice little one way on the legs of all the players on short. Except if they're hiding behind the hay bell, but if you suspect that's the case, you can always just molly it. There is one catch though, and that is if people are crouching all the way in the back, they may be able to see you depending on the random spread of the smoke, but even still it'll be very hard to see you and you'll definitely have an advantage in that duel. The next smoke is a great one if you like playing quad on B site. Just crouch and line up your crosshair with the third antenna, uncrouch and press mouse 1. Now you'll be able to see the legs of anyone trying to push into B site and you'll be able to pick up some extremely free kills. This is a smoke that mouse 4 actually uses quite a lot, so it's damn effective, even at the pro levels, especially if the time is low and your opponents have to push in. Next up Mirage, and for that map we again have two great smokes. The first one is really simple and great to handle a competent opera playing CT or Ticket. Simply line yourself up with the middle of the wall and aim your smoke at where the line and the wall intersect. Now you'll be granted one way vision onto anyone that dares play close to CT, and it can be pretty effective to catch anyone off guard playing default, triple box, or stairs by jumping up on the edge of the smoke. For there, it won't be a one way, but you'll still have a decent advantage in a duel. All in all, great smoke. For the next one, we have a smoke to make sure you and your team hold on to the middle, even if your teammates refuse to support you with flashes, which is something that they should be doing, especially if you're the window player. Since we understand matchmaking can be a little rough, we'll help you deal with it yourself though. 
All you have to do is get yourself stuck in between the little step and the wall and aim on the black dot on the roof. That way on the left of the smoke, you'll be able to see the majority of mid without your opponents being able to see you, and thus you'll have a relatively easy time shooting them. Be wary though, because in the higher ranks of matchmaking, people might begin to suspect the smoke, especially if you use it multiple times in the same game. If that's the case, you could also use the smoke as a bait, while you peek connector instead while they try to spam the smoke. However you want to use it, it should be good enough for a few kills and some more mid control every single game. On nuke, we start off on ramp, and here we have this creative little one way where you'll be able to see under it and spot any legs of anyone in radio. It is quite difficult to line it up as you'll have to right click throw your smoke while aiming at a little dot that may be difficult to spot especially in the heat of battle but fear not. Because even if you mess it up and aim too high or too low on the accident, you'll still be able to get a one way as long as you stand on top of the boxes instead of under. Hell, you can even use it multiple times but just the different variations will really throw your opponents off guard. The next smoke is great if your opponent's sniper player inside of garage is just a bit too good. If dry peeking the opera there is simply not an option, you can force your opponent to play somewhere else or pick up an easy frag. Simply line yourself up in the corner here and place your crosshair on the grass patch outside of the gate and left click. Now you have a really cheeky angle on the player in garage and you'll be able to kill him easily if he insists on playing there. Even if you don't want to peek garage but instead just want to cross, you could still keep throwing the smoke just to make sure that the opera is terrified of ever peeking into that smoke, giving you and your team a lot of space to work with. On overpass, again, two very useful and easy to line up smokes. The first one taking place on B bomb site for an easy hold. All you have to do is crouch in front of the barrels and find the little dot on them. Aim slightly below so that your crosser lines up with the floor and right click. Now you'll be able to get one way vision both towards short and monster and you'll thus be able to control both of those areas uncontested at least for the duration of the smoke. The smoke also has the very bonus of being very hard to spam even if your opponents do know what's going on so you'll even be able to use it multiple times. The other overpass one way is over inside of the connector and here all you have to do is line up the crosshair on the edge of the wall at the height of the arrow and left click. Then you'll be able to see over it by walking up the side of the stairs and run away with a cheeky kill on anyone trying to take connector. For train, we start off with one way that's really great for stopping anyone trying to take the upper hall's control right in their tracks. Simply line yourself up in the corner and aim to the left of the electrical unit. Now walk up the ramp and you'll have a full one way on anyone that dares to take control of the boiler area. Don't use the smoke too often though, unless you want to get pre-fired. Since we're at the B side already, why not show another one way here, just for the attacking side. If you and your team have managed to take the B site, then it's very common for the CTs to attempt to start a retake from connector. To start this, you can line yourself up with the middle of the bomb train and right click a smoke aiming at the low point next to the 6 on the train to the left of you. Now you have a great one way towards the connector area and you'll even have quite a bit of room to maneuver. All in all, a great way to stop a retake. For the final map, of course we have Vertigo. Even though it might not be played as much, knowing one ways also on this map is a great idea and it'll pay off by winning you many rounds and games. The first smoke is really simple and doesn't have to be too perfect. Simply just line yourself up flush with the shadow of the red box and right click a smoke towards the top of it. And ta-da! You'll have a nice one way to ruin any B pushes. Of course, we also want to be able to hold A2, so the last smoke is just for that. This is smoke that both FaZe Clan and Astralis uses a lot, and once you see it, you'll understand why. First, you need to get stuck in the corner in the back of the bomb site, and then aim at the lower silver part on the left side of the crane. Now, you'll be able to have a really great one way on anyone trying to peek from the ramp. This smoke is great for holding the ramp, but can actually also be used for retake, so even if you're not an A player, it'll be highly useful to know. By learning and mastering all these one-way smokes in this video, this will definitely take your game to the next level. And if you guys want to help us get to the next level, definitely leave a like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell notification button. If you also want to further improve your game, go check out ProGuides.com, where we have a vast array of courses and coaches at your disposal. Well, that's it for now. My name is Stray, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.